thread on the Regenerate North Walsham group has made me chuckle. Someone asked if TalkTalk, Talk, a phone and mobile, um, a phone and internet provider over here, are any good. And uh, I think it's a resounding no. I'm just going to have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty comments saying that talk talk a complete shit. That does count what a mine based on the experiences mum had. Um, <laughs> and I've actually counted only two that are actually uh, for talk talk. So I had 22 comments, 20 of them are stating how shit they are. Um, but that's one of the reasons that there's several reasons I've stuck with BT. Ask anyone, BT is not the cheapest provider in this country. British Telecom is probably the most expensive, but I get good speed. Personally, I've not had a problem with any customer service assistant when I've, on the very few occasions I've had to ring them. In the six or seven years I've been with them, I can actually count the problems on one hand. In fact, probably ha half a hand, actually, on three fingers. Three times, that is it. And uh, only one of those was their actual fault. Because they actually... <laughs> they usually give you... I get billed around the 2021st. That's when I get my uh, phone bill. And they usually give you to the end of the month to pay it. And if you haven't, you then get another couple of weeks. And if not, you then get cut off. But the problem is, my bill wasn't even at, you know, my time wasn't up before I had to pay the bill. And their system cut me off. But a quick phone call and 30 minutes later, my internet was back on. Because, you know, that was an error with their system. <laughs> but apart from that, there's only been two technical glitches, which was on their side. So, personally, I can't complain about BT. And it does worry me that if I change provider to someone cheaper, that their service... A, isn't going to be as good, isn't going to be as fast, and isn't going to be as reliable. <laughs> so, for those reasons, I just chose to stick. I know it's costing me more than I could save, but I chose to stick because... Three comments now, someone else has just put one in saying they can't fault them. But Again, everyone is different. There probably is some you know, satisfied customers like there is with any company. I know very unsatisfied BT customers who have changed because of piss poor service and uh, and whatnot. But the problem is, if you live in the middle of the countryside, your service is going to be shit no matter who you go with. Because BT, they own all the, well, they basically own the phone network. So, they maintain all the phone cables and the fibre optics and whatnot that we have. But, because it's not financially viable to them, they usually just leave all the ones in the little country villages and whatnot. A town like this, with a large population, they'll upgrade and keep well maintained. But if you're out in the middle of a bloody countryside, in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, you're going to get crappy service. When Mum was in Buxton, she tried 
three different providers and the internet connection was just as shit with all of them including BT and it wasn't a fault of the providers it was just a fault that the cabling and everything was just crap it needed upgrading probably replacing so <laughs> I had a salad and I'm feeling peckish again. Anyway, I'm rambling too much, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut the video down here. And hopefully, should the package arrive tomorrow, I'll turn the camera back on. If not, I will turn the camera back on at some point tomorrow anyway. Because I'm pretty certain one of my two packages will arrive. <laughs> so, I will talk to you tomorrow. I've just got to find the button. Get out of the way, you. See you tomorrow. Doesn't look like the parcel's going to arrive today. So it'll be Monday. And it doesn't look like my TV radio combi is going to arrive today either. <laughs> Never mind. According to tracking, it should arrive tomorrow. I think my Hermes is one of the few that run on the weekends as well. Or run at least on a Saturday. DPD doesn't. Anyway. I'm having an off day today. Don't feel like doing anything. Don't feel like being social. Feeling grumpy. Which has actually gotten me into trouble once. Because they're right. Just because you've got an earth... I should take a leaf out of my own book at times, you know. Just because you've got an opinion doesn't mean you've got to be rude or mean about it. But... I have sent a personal apology to both. It wasn't that bad, but... Still, it wasn't necessary, you know. I could have reworded it. Or worded it better, I should say. But, uh, never mind. I might actually have a reply. Nope. <laughs> right. I've stuck my Marantz tape deck here on eBay. Reason being... Tape player. Tape player. Tape player. Tape player. Tape player in the bedroom. Don't need another tape player. You know, it's just a dust collector. So I thought... I'll stick it on eBay. I'll stuck it up for... I have no idea what these are worth. I've just stuck it up for 20 quid. Buy it now, or best offer, so they can make me an offer. I think the lowest I'd really want is about 15 quid, because this does work flawlessly. It's brilliant. It's tested, it works. You know, it's just got a few marks and things from storage. I'm not sure if there is actually meant to be a piece of plastic in there or not. So... That's on eBay. I need to clear this to get that out. Piss off out of my way. And I've been doing a bit of shopping as well. I got this yesterday. <sighs> Twin cylinder foot pump. You're probably thinking, why have I gone and bought that one when I've already got one? Reason being, my one doesn't have a pressure gauge. My old one did, the one that broke, but the one I've been using doesn't. And I've been wanting a twin one for ages, so... I don't mind Crivet tools, they've been good so far. Touch wood. So, <laughs> so I've gone and bought that. It's only 5 99 so we'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. So, I'm going to stick that on there. I've also had a look in a charity shop. 
Ow. And da -da -da -da. a couple of charity shops action. I've got some LPs in there, four of. They do them for a pound each. I'll tell you what, I'm going to stand you on there. Right. I've actually decided I'm not going to spray paint these yet. So I'm just going to get that cabinet out and that one fixed and them both standing in that corner. Yeah. I was getting low on knives and forks, so I got some. Also got myself another little matchbox vehicle. I'm not sure if that's meant to be a fire engine. Yes it is, because it's got Newfield Borough Fire Co written on it. Okay, but I've never seen that one. Don't have that one either, so that's another one for my fire engine collection. And... These came from a different charity shop. I've got some 45s as well, or singles if you prefer. So I've got Rocker's Revenge, Rockin' on Sunshine on that side, and Walking on Sunshine on that side. Um, yeah, some of these haven't got them. There's some I wanted, but some of them had a huge scratch right across the surface. surface rather. What's this one? Salt and Pepper on with uh, on Vogue. What a man. I think it's the same on the other side. Yep. Uh, some Tapao, China in your hand. Some Boney M. Rivers of Babylon. Anyone my age or older will recognise a lot of these. Not sure the younger generation would. Depends if they've heard their parents play anything. <laughs> or even seen the movies like Rocky. Three. Eye of the Tiger. I'll show you the LPs in a minute as well. What have we got here? <laughs> the Hokey Cokey I got for shits and giggles. <laughs> Peter Gabriel, Slayer Hammer. And Yellow, The Race. And for LPs, I've stuck my record player back together. By the way, I'm, uh, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to sell that. So I have got two perfectly good players over there. I don't need that big one, do I? So now, what do you guys think? Anyway. This is what I've got LP wise. Here we go. 20 smash disco hits, including the original film track, The Bitch After the Stud. Blondie, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria Gaynor, Leo Sawyer, The Stylistics, Herbie Hancock, Olympic Runners, Gonzalez, Gibson Brothers, Quantum Jump, The Drifters, Linda Lewis, The Dooleys, Deborah Washington. I bet this is bringing back a lot of memories for some people. <laughs> so I won't go on. <laughs> I've got Top and Pops. Uh, da -da. What's that one? Smash Hits 1976. We've got Dancing Queen, Don't Go Breaking My Heart, We Do It. Kiss and Say Goodbye, a little bit more, Mississippi, let me in, save your kisses for me, can't get by without you. No charge, I can't ask any more than you, do you know where you're going to? Blinded by the light and dance, little lady, dance. And another Top the Pops one, Don't Cry For Me Argentina, Dr. Love, you're more than a number in my little red book, I wish. What else, New Kid in Town, Sideshow, Daddy Cool. Some of them songs I don't actually recognise. I might recognise them when I hear them. So, yeah. Couldn't resist. In the charity shop I get my records from... They do singles at 50p each. And the LPs are a pound each. Yeah, I might... So I don't know, because that record player does work really, really well on that one channel, but 
I've got a feeling that a part or a component has blown and if it is that it's not fixable because you can't get replacements. Well actually I probably could but it's going to be like looking for a needle in a bloody haystack and it wouldn't be cheap. I can't remember what they call it but it's like a silver round disc thing that bolts to the back of the radio chassis inside that. I'll show you actually because I've still got the bottom off and it's still up on end. Um, you see I've got this, I've got a feeling one, if one of these have blown I think they're like a little a MOSFET amplifier thingamajig I can't remember it's bad because I've watched so many videos on YouTube where radios like this have been repaired and they've spoken of these and I can't remember what the damn thing is called but if it is this it's going to be extremely tricky to find um, it could even be this I have gone over the solder joints on here, just to make sure you know it wasn't a dicky solder joint, but the orange wire that goes around here comes through, and I believe it's this one. But yeah, for now, I've stuck it all back together, because at the end of the day, you know, these two diddly little speakers will run on the one channel. But... Uh, I suppose if I really wanted it to work perfectly I'd have to recap all of this. That's a bit beyond my um, skill level at the minute. On a plus note I've got two of the lights to I didn't realise all this lit up till I took it all apart but there's a bulb missing in here and there's two bulbs missing from this panel so I need to find three bulbs. I do have lots of sort of stereo size type bulbs but I need three like that, which I've just gone and thrown on the floor, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, what I need... is basically... three of these, but screw in, not them push-in ones. And I've got a third one, which might have been the one I dropped on the floor. I've got this one, which is testing good, on my meter, it tests as a complete circuit, but putting it in here doesn't light up, so mind you, I'm not surprised, that's probably a bit too grotty for um, a good electrical connection. But I did have one, I did put one in there, and it was really, really, really dim, and then it seemed to be of uh, overheating something in this general area on the other side because uh, I could see a trail of smoke coming off but as soon as I took that bulb out it stopped so could have been the wrong voltage and was drawing too much current that's what I think it was so I think these are five volt bulbs in the front there so I think for now I think for now I'll button this back up I don't know if I'll put it back on my chest of drawers I might Slide it. E. E. Not under the bed. But I might make some room on there and slide it on there until I decide what I want to do with it. I think that's the best option. Because so I don't know whether to sell it or whether just to keep it as a, you know, I think. Because I might put my other black stereo in here. With the. Uh, well, I could put four speakers up if I had the room, but I ain't got the room. <laughs> but, uh, I do want to get clear my bench over there, shift all this lot, take what's left of the doors off, try and get that mirror off because it's going to make it a darn sight lighter. And if I have to take a bloody hammer to it, <laughs> it's already broken. I don't believe in superstition myself. Well, if it was seven years bad luck, my luck hasn't changed, so. <laughs> it's still been as shitty as it's always been, so. Oh, bollocks, I've been in the town, I forgot to get a stamp. Uh, I'll be back in the town later, hopefully I'll remember. I've got some raffle tickets there to post off. Right. 
in the meantime, I need to get that bloody thing out. That can sit on the friggin' landing for the weekend. Don't give a fuck what victory say. Don't kiss my ass. <laughs> I haven't moved by Monday. I ain't gonna like where I put it, but I ain't gonna know where it comes from either. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, I'll speak to you all later. Okay, I've had a parcel delivered. I've already told you what's in this one. This is a My Hermie, or what? Yeah, delivered by My Hermie. So uh, this is the. Um, TV radio combo. I already know what's in this one. But yeah, it looks like the other one from Response Vehicle Lighting will be here um, Monday. Right. Ooh. Yeah. isn't good. That is not good at all. I think there's going to be a case opened up against the seller because well, it was packed in that, but that thin slit of slither of fucking bubble wrap, and uh, well, I can already tell that this has been bashed around, and the um, CRT screen is smashed. So that's about as much use as a chocolate fire guard now. And I can see bits running around, and that wasn't in the photo either. That black dot. Can you hear it? So, to say I'm not happy is an understatement. I better go send an eBay a message. I got them in. I had to cut about an inch and a half off this shelf. In fact, I've cut a bit too much off, but it doesn't matter. So I've got to go over that with some black paint now. Yeah, which I've got a tin of in that cupboard, so I'm going to get a paintbrush probably tomorrow, I'll get a cheap one that I can just throw in the bin when I'm done and just go over that and down there where I've knocked the edge because to cut that I had to take all of this off so I've actually completely emptied this no. pardon so yeah that was fun, not <sighs> I'm having one of them days you know, I really am having one of them days one of them days where I just wish I stayed in bed. <laughs> uh, right. I don't think I'm going to use this. I'm going to find somewhere to stand it, but I'm going to modify it. Mm. I'm going to do a separate video on it. Because... I think I could make quite a nice illuminated cabinet with that. So I'm going to go under the bed later when I've got some room, find a lamp holder I can put in this, and uh, stick a light bulb in it. And then stick that, I don't know where. <laughs> I'll find somewhere, probably in the bedroom as a decorative lamp. Because I don't need it for shelves. I will keep the shelves and everything. You know. I've gotten hot. So now my back is itching like a bitch. There we go. Right. I came in here for something. Now I can't fucking remember what it was. Let's get the back scratcher one. I mean, that might make life a bit easier. Uh. 
Right. What's the bet that mirror is probably glued on there? I want to get that off. It's going to make it a darn sight lighter to get it downstairs. So that's going to be the next job. In the meantime, I've just got to switch my fan off so we don't get bloody fan noise. I'm watching something on eBay. Well, my tape deck has already sold. So let me just quickly bring up eBay. I am watching this and I do intend to get it. I've messaged the seller as well because I've bought from him before and I'd said, you know, if I knew he had this lamp, I would have bought it. Outright. Look. There. That one. <laughs> um, that's the bid. That's the lamp I want and I know for a fact someone's bid on it because they are like me. They want that blue lamp. He should have told me. I would have bought it but like I said I'm watching it because uh, I can just take the other lamps and just keep hold of them as spares for spare bits. Or just play around with them and get them working one or the other so. Ooh, second board is snapped in half. Oh, the Nissan one works. It's just got a broken battery clip. Hmm. Well, I could always use the um, circuit out of it as a spare for mine. Eco light with a bulb but faulty circuit. Yeah, so I am watching that. It's supposed to be highs of 26. You see the water on my forehead, look. <laughs> Doesn't help because it really does get hot up here. Yeah, I just thought, with this sort of frosting on these doors, as you saw, that might make for a funky illuminated cupboard, you know? So I'm just going to stick a lamp holder in there and plug it in and see what it looks like. Right. Yep, I didn't even get made an offer on that tape deck. Someone just hit the buy it now and bought it. So... I've got boxes down in the shed, actually, that I should be able to put that in, or at least make one it will go in. And I will book that next week. Bollocks, how long is left on that auction? Wrong link, you dum dum. Oh, I've got to go downstairs with this and just take a photo of a bike as well. See if I can get shot of that out of my way. It's that red GT I built up. It ends in four days. Oh, I thought that was two days. It's four days. I have to hold on to a bit of cash, I think. Well, I've got the money there for the lamp. I just ain't got the money for the postage unless I keep, you know, some money back that I've got on my wallet. I should be able to. I hope. <laughs> if not, I can soon find some stuff to sell. I've got no more tape decks, though, otherwise I'd stick those up. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, we got all that. So I was reading a thing on here where uh, storms, thunderstorms and lightning storms hit yesterday and caused a lot of travel disruption. As usual. <laughs> right. I'm going to disappear. I've got to go downstairs at some point. I'm going to see if I dismantle that cupboard. That's my next job. Right. Got something to show you. I think it's still plugged in. It is. This is now a decorative lamp stroke cupboard. There we go. Might just be able to see the shadows in there of the shelves. That's what I've done. Because it wasn't really lighting up the whole thing, which is what I wanted it to do. So I thought, well, why not just chuck a coloured light bulb up here? It's actually meant to be orange, but I think it's looking more of a red. And I might play around with some other coloured bulbs I've got and, uh, you know, see which one I like best. I've got green, blue, red. I've got some other various ones through there. I've got yellow. Shitloads of green and yellow. So yeah, as it wasn't lighting up the whole box as it were, I just put the other shelves back in. Up to here. So it's just this top section that lights up. And it was extremely easy to do. Because I didn't even have to drill a hole. There was a hole already in the back. <laughs> so... What I really did was just use a new couple of new leads, which were just old uh, figure eight cables, you know, for little stereos and whatnot, like those over there, because I've got shed loads of the damn things now. So I just butchered a couple of those for the cables and just screwed that light fitting up to the top. Simple. That's all it took. So I thought I was going to have to get my drill, you know, and drill a hole through the back and whatnot. So I was charging up my batteries. Only to open the door and look, and there was that slot already there. It's almost like it was made <laughs> with that in mind that someone might want to put a lamp in there. Oh, I'll show you what I bought as well earlier. Roy's have got these on offer. Yeah, it's rather bright, isn't it? That is rather bloody bright. I really didn't think it was going to be that bright. These battery LEDs, you know, that you're supposed to stick up to illuminate cupboards and things and perhaps sheds, you know, where you can't get electric to very easily. Or well, I could, you know, I might actually stick that up there and use that as like a hallway emergency light on the occasions when the bloody electric does go out because there's a power cut. Um, it's got the screw mount there, it's got magnets and it's got sticky back things, velcro here as well but that one isn't stuck on there straight but it's not stuck on there very well at all actually. It's just in the form of a light switch you see, let's off, on, off. So I may actually go and get a couple more of those. Because I would like something in the kitchen. I've got them in the bathroom, although the one I got in there is one of those. And it's just got an ordinary incandescent light bulb. And I've got the mirror off the back. Just pop the backboard off basically because it's fixed to that. It's all fixed as one. And that is where all the weight is. That is heavy. And that's going to be a pain to get downstairs, I think. Um, but it's all glued, you know, I actually did that deliberately to see if it would break into pieces so I could stick it in a box or something and put it in the bin, but nope, it's all sort of glued, so, pardon me, oh, right, I think my day is actually starting to go better now that the day is nearly over, I do want to go and get something to eat, I fancy a good old fashioned tub of Donna meat from the kebabi and chips. My favourite. 
with burger sauce. Uh, excuse me. I've got to get that packed up. This evening, I also want to get that stereo set up in the bedroom. And the other one tucked under the thing out of the way till I decide what I will do with it. Um, I haven't got my little trailer anymore. I gave it to catch trucks, didn't I? So, um, hmm. So I was thinking I could have taken it down to Black Records and, you know, seen if they'd give me something for it. Because trying to sell something like that is going to be difficult. I can try. Um. I could stick it on the Facebook market and see if I get anything for it. And just, I don't know, take the first offer. Because I sort of don't really need it, do I? I mean, I've got two record players in the lounge as it is. Which play spot on. And, when I can remember where I put it, it's under there. I've got that other turntable as well. It just needs a stylus. So I do actually have a spare turntable for the Marant system as well. So I'm just thinking, do I really need it? And the answer to that is, no, not really. It all works, I've just got to put the bottom on, which I will do. Uh, but I want to get this out of friggin' way first. Um, I've got all those brake calipers on eBay. One sold, but I still haven't had payment yet. This is exactly the point I make. <sighs> this is why I message other sellers before I commit to buy. You know, to see if they're okay waiting. Or, you know, just to tell me, you know, I can't pay until such and such date. Do you mind waiting a few days or whatever? Nine times out of ten, they say, no, I don't mind. But there are sellers, as I've said before, that do like, you know, an instant payment. But <sighs> it's just, you know, to me, it's just common courtesy to let the seller know. But anyway, I'm going to disappear for a bit, get all that sorted out, go and get some grub. It's gone 8 o'clock now. I'll talk to you one last time later. I picked a green bulb. I think the green one looks nice. I think an LED bulb might be a better choice. Because it is just an old uh, incandescent bulb in there. And I might try and find a coloured LED bulb to stick in here. Well, it's been on a while and it's not getting too hot in there anyway, so that'll do. It looks good enough. Blue just didn't work. The only other colours that seemed to work were red, yellow and orange. But I didn't really fancy any of them colours, so I stuck with green. I'm going to sit this way around so the air hits the back of my chair. So that's done. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put it or what I'm going to put in it. But uh, it is done. I'm not going to put anything right on this top shelf because it's going to be too close to the bulb. And I'll lose the effect. But I've still got, I've worked out five shelves below it that I can use. Which is why I did it. <laughs> it's different. It was extremely easy to do. I mean, all this is, is the other thing I was actually thinking of doing was um, putting a white light bulb in the top here and then painting these or getting some coloured filters and putting those on there instead. Well, it'd be on these four now, wouldn't it? That was my other idea. And I think for now, I mean, I must have at least 200 of these bleeding green light bulbs, so... 
I can be, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll keep this going with green light bulbs for several years yet. Great. My stereo's gone. I think I told you that's sold as well. Yeah, I did. And I've sold a pair of brake calipers. Uh, I do. don't actually know if it's a pair that already sold and they've paid for, or if another pair sold. I have to have a double, a double lead checky, double checky. But uh, I got that one up here now. For like a bit of a change, and I'll give the old girl a rest. I can't part with it. I decided I can't, so I'm going to just uh, put it in storage under there for now. See so if I can get hold of some bulbs. I tried on eBay, but the bulbs seem to be uh, like looking for a needle in a haystack, and I need three of them for that. Um. And it's just that uh, speaker. The other problem I've got that makes repairs harder is uh, I don't have the right test equipment either. I wouldn't know how to test that suspect part either. Which is bad because uh, I should know with all the videos I've watched. <laughs> I should go back and watch a few. Right, that one's no rubbish. I'll keep the other one now. Because these were definitely the problem. Well, that was part of the problem on the... Um, well, actually, I suppose it would be the right-hand speaker if you look at the stereo from the front. I keep calling it the left, but... Because of the way it was put on the shelf. But I suppose if we look at the front of it, it would be... No, it would be the left, wouldn't it? That's my left, yeah. That's the one that's um, been getting the issues. But like I said, putting the new filter caps on the outputs did help. Or it did help that left one, but it didn't fix the problem altogether. So there's still another problem. It could be as simple as another capacitor blown, but I don't have a schematic or anything, so I don't know what part of the circuit to look at or to replace them on, because I probably wouldn't bother testing. I'd probably just go ahead and replace them. But anywho, I've got that up the corner. I've got uh, one of these old coax cables plugged into the FM antenna socket on the back. If I actually had a TV antenna, I could probably use that as an aerial, but I don't. You know, one of them um, portable ones. Which are probably almost non-existent now, as terrestrial TV doesn't exist in Britain. And by terrestrial TV, I mean analog. We just I don't know why, but we used to call it terrestrial over here. Yeah, analog is non-existent here now. and put some of my records on. I might do that in a bit. My back has been itchy all friggin' evening. That's driving me balmy at the minute. Right. I don't really know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I was hoping that parcel would have arrived today, but oh well. Although the guy did say it'd either be today or tomorrow, I suppose. It just depends when DPD received it, that's all. If they didn't pick it up yesterday, or he didn't get to drop it off yesterday, or whatever, I'm not sure. Then uh, it wouldn't have got delivered today, but no worries. It just means I've got to be excited all weekend. <laughs> uh, I want me my item. Oh well. Hopefully DPD won't break what's in it. <laughs> like Hermes did with my TV. Oh, that reminds me, um, the guy asked for a photo so he can claim back from my Hermes. Which is fair enough, I took a photo. I've actually finally got um, the casings apart. So I can actually show you exactly what uh, happened. Oh, I think the seller is a little bit responsible at least because uh, 
I mean, look, it was in this. It was in a decent enough box. I can't complain about that, but that's all I had for bubble wrap. It doesn't even. <laughs> oh well, as I say, shit happens, but yeah, the speaker seems to have fallen off. I think someone's repaired this because the wires have been extended. I'm pretty certain that would not have been done in the factory because they would have made the wires long enough. So maybe the old speaker broke or something, or the wires broke. Got the same sort of capacitor there. Ugh. Well, I don't think this would have worked anyway. <laughs> Can you see all that? These capacitors are gone. They're shot. Yeah, there's a few little spares in here. I could, put, I mean, I could probably take the radio circuit out and put that in a custom box. So, yeah. Yeah, that's where the speaker should have gone. Yeah, we just noticed that. It's been a bit leaky. I mean, well, you couldn't really use it as a prop for a TV for a TV show either, because uh, where the tube is popped at the back you know glass has got in there rattled around and taken all the coating off so you can see that so it wouldn't have looked good tuna don't work <laughs> tuna's not working at all for some reason all seems to be connected, it just does not want to work. This doesn't even look to be that well made to be honest, that's not even a proper tuning capacitor there is it? That's just a potentiometer they've stuck in there. Cheating boogers. I'm guessing this had an AM radio on it as well. AM FM, yep, because it's got the uh, AM antenna. That's the usual giveaway. That really is a shame about that, because those capacitors and that circuit board, I could have cleaned up and uh, replaced those caps and fixed it, you know. Yeah, I'm guessing that is electrolyte that's leaked out of both of those. Oof. Although, looking at that, that's gone right over that circuit board. I'm actually so short now. <laughs> I think the only thing I'm going to be able to salvage is the radio circuit. I want to figure out how to get it out. Oh well. I've got a bloody pin stuck in my boot as well. Right. Well, I actually guess tomorrow I should put some of my Lego models on here, as that was my intention for these. Here, look at it. Look. I'm gonna put this up here. This is where this is going tomorrow as well. And I'm gonna get some more tomorrow. Ready? That is actually quite bright, isn't it? But. Uh, Oh, sorry, I had the camera on the bloody piss there, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Emails again. Oh, I did get a refund. <laughs> He's just replied back, wow, exclamation mark. Yeah, that's what my Hermes did to her. I think they played friggin' soccer with it around the fucking warehouse. See, 
we shouldn't have to go through all the palaver, you know, of packing things so well. Because the couriers, you know, they should treat your items with care anyway. And not, you know, kick it around and throw it. Because I know damn well they do. Even if you stuck Fragile on it, they would have still dropped it and thrown it there. I've seen them do it in the post office when you put your parcel over or hand it over to them. Boop! They just chuck it in the basket thing behind them. Not gently put it in there, just boop! Straight, throw it straight in. And I'm just thinking... That is why people claim. People wouldn't have to claim if you actually, you know, treated other people's items with a bit more respect. But, uh, never mind, not my fault. This salad could be put at fault a little bit from the lack of bubble wrap, but the actual fault is with the courier. And I'm pretty certain it's not the bloke that bought it to me, because it's the same bloke that's bought me every My Hermes parcel, and that's the only one that's come damaged. So. I'm pretty certain it's not my local courier. It'd probably be one of those at the main depot, main warehouse, sort of office, whatever you want to call it. Excuse me. I'm actually feeling a little bit peckish, but I don't fancy the chicken balls I've got in the fridge. Got some chicken, sweet and sour chicken balls from the Chinese and a portion of chips and I can never eat the chips or all the chicken balls they give you ten ten f there's only one of you and they give you ten chicken fucking balls so I'll stick them in the fridge for later I manage five and I put five in the fridge but that's why I can't eat all the chips because them chicken balls are really really filling and all like I don't know what the batter is, but it's just basically a big lump of chicken breast wrapped in some sort of batter type stuff. Quite tasty, especially dipped in the um, sweet and sour sauce, which I've got in the fridge as well. I think I've still got some of them Monster Munch rip-off snack things behind me. Mother-in-law has priceless reaction to Crib Dribbler. It's just adverts. You see, when ya when you've cleared your um, inbox in Yahoo, they just play little adverts like this. Well, uh, no, actually, they're not adverts. They're um, news stories. Sorry. And uh, it just popped on there so I have not a clue what a crib dribbler is. Are you quite finished? <sighs> well with that refund I've now actually got the money to put a bid in for those uh, lamps I want. <laughs> Mum said, you ought to be getting t-shirts, not lamps. And I said, lamps and t-shirts aren't fun. <laughs> I don't need no t-shirts. I've still got plenty that aren't holy. I think. Try the new Yahoo Mail. All right, then. Who's messaging me? I'm not sure I actually like to do Yahoo Mail. Ooh. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to have to customise it a bit. It's too bright. That's better. Oh, hang on. Ha! Oh! Eee! Ah! <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, I see. I can... Ooh. 
Oh, you can pick what parts. So you can have just the banner. Damn, that looks wide on my camera. There you go, I'll come back a bit. Oh, well, there's no emails there. Or you could have just the outsides. And the middle bit white. Or I can go for that. I like that one, personally. There we go. I suppose if I want to change it, I can just click in the settings here. Yeah, I'll stick to the blue. <laughs> no preview pane, show message on the right. Search, blah, show message, message, show message at the bottom. I swear Sean Connery is my uncle or something. Home. What happens if I click home? Oh, I see. It takes you to the Yahoo home page. Duh. Dumbass question, really, wasn't it? What does home do? Well, duh. It takes you to Yahoo home. Yeah. It's the same sort of layout, really. It's just... I'm sort of... I do like this colour scheme, though. You know, how the sort of two different shades of blue sort of blend in with each other in the middle. Cool. Other than that, I, I just changed the looks. I can't see anything else that's been added or taken away or... They've just... It looks like they've just refreshed it, you know, given it a fresh look. Oh well. Sorry. When I'm looking at the admin chat, I don't like to, uh, or any of my chats, you know, I don't like to show them on camera because they're private, you know, that's why it's called a private message. <laughs> uh, right. I think I've rambled on enough in this video, to be honest. It's going to take me ages to put it together because I've got umpteen clips for this one. <sighs> I was hoping it was going to be a bit more exciting. But unfortunately the parcel didn't arrive. <laughs> uh, I had a feeling it wouldn't. I think I was just being a bit too optimistic. Oh well. Um... So long as I remember, I will go ahead and put the link to his website in this description. And I'll do the same again when the um, parcel arrives. So, thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up the video if you like it. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Ta-ta.